Hello everybody, welcome back to next episode of Zelda Sky Sword. Last episode we descended back to the seal grounds to fight against the present for a second time. In this today episode we are going to charge Sky Strike to open up the gate of time. And just letting you know, yes, I did eat something before I begin this episode. And let's strike it. Fear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Gamey. If everything is as I expected, the real night with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beneath this gate. <laughs> nah, don't worry about me. I'm going to hang back here, Gamey. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Granny here keeps yapping and yap and on and on about how we never knew when it might burst free again. Someone's going to stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's going to look for the old girl? Eh? You know what? Nah, forget about it. When you see Zelda, tell her I said, what's up?
Welcome to the Temple of Hylia. So this is a pass. This is a sealed temple. And what do you know? Impa is waiting here. Let's see what she has to say. Alas, I've been spitting you, Gamey. You are doubtless un overwhelmed. So I will explain things as simple as I can. This is Temple of Halia. Though it will come to be known as the Seal Temple sometime in the future. You stay in the past, ages before your own time. He Excuse me. Here, the goddess Halia has only just sealed away demise. And the time it has passed since the goddess sent that outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. Mm -hmm. It's time it is true to its name, you have passed through the temp the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now you must progress progress back through the gate do great doors behind you. Is there that the person you risk life and blood to defend waits for you? Hey, well, ooh, what's this? I think this will come part in some some other time. Uh, okay, that does not open. Does this open? No, it does not. Okay, well, <laughs> just running right into a wall. Right, as Impa said before, let's go through these date, these gates, and meet Zelda. <laughs> you came so far, gamey. I'm glad you made it. I imagine Impa failed you on not everything. We travel very far from home to the distant past. In this era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the team king known as the mice have not yet healed. All the fairy tales about that war we heard of growing up in Skyloft, incredible as may seem, they be appear to be all too real. I think it's time you learned that whole story. Let me try and explain. The old gods created a supernatural power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill in, in desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thrust to make the world his own, the Mars redoubled a massive army to a monsters for war. He is long to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on s s slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Hilda succeeded in sealing away demise. However, soon after the Dean King was in prison, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against his fearsome power. Hilda suffered great injuries in her battle with the Demon King. She knew that if he broke free again, there will be no stopping him. And if the Team King were to free himself, 
It will mean the end of the world for all beings on this land. In order to put a stop to the Dean King, he earlier to send two separate pla plans and set them both into model. First, she created fire. She made the spirit that resigned your sword to suffice a single purpose, to assist her chosen hero on his mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transform her soul to the body of a mortal. She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods can one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by the gods, all its power can never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You probably figured out by now, haven't you, Gamey? You are the Chosen, and I, Zelda? I am the goddess reborn as a mortal. The day of the ceremony, Gearham's typhoon tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the demon forces, but was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the seal grounds. I had no memory at all of my existence as Helia, but she explained it to me. She helped me to remember who I was and what I had to do. I sailed to plan to pray at the goddess statue located in each temple across the land. Each statue stumbled up memories within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an angel of the goddess, led me here to the past. All of this is part of the same great fate to prevent the rival, the revive of demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes a ship of a, of a bension. But even in his high, higher state, he's more than capable of demise this land if we allowed him to do what he desires. We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. This is why I instructed to remain here in this time and place, to restrain the seal as best I can. As long as I continue with this first show, we may be able to prevent the Team King from fully reviving himself in our own time. <laughs> I must manifest the seal that Haley, rather than I, created so long ago and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my for former life returned to me, I can see now that this is my purpose. Kimi, the gods created fire in the great place she's part of for very sufficient reasons. For the task of standing against the mice in the monstrous form, he now is a size rest solely on your so soldiers. Back in our, t our own time, you're already drove him back into his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Gamey. During your long journey, you grow so much. You learn wisdom from solving device puzzle and traps. You gain power 
by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword, and by overcoming the trials set before you by the goddess, you found true courage. Now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our own kind. You can claim the trifles. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are here of legend and that within you dwells secret power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Gamey. Draw your sword. The goddess has blessed your sword, and the master sword has at least achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now impetuous with the mystical power to drive back demons, and on gaming may wield it. Gaming, before I say that word, I feel like I am your apologies. You see, the mark of trifles on your hand is symbol of the greatest power in this world. If you can tame the actual trifles, you will have the power to vanquish the minds once and for all. The problem is, among the countless souls in this world, only select a few, those with the unbreakable spirit, can wield this might. It's impossible to know the true reason why the old gods created trifles, but I have a theory of my own. The gods created trifles, yet they simply de designed it so that they, their own kind can never use its power. Somehow, I think they may have been their way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of the world, which brings us back to you. To face the minds and give the land hope, the goddess hero needed someone with the unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Gamey. But spirit alone was enough. You had to overcome many trials and waken the hero within yourself so that you can wield that usurper power. And so healing, I mean, and so I, I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself head first into any danger without a moment's doubt. I use you. I can't begin, I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for putting you into all this gaming. But you have to understand this is a war and the fate of the land hangs in the balance. I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be well instructed and true, but does mean it's right and doesn't results my actions, but I'm prepared to pay the price for what I've done. To assure that the seal holds, I will remain here in this time, deep in sleep for thousands of years. Kimi, I can't say enough. 
I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. When tell my memory of things before our lifetime remains returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. But before all this, I was happy to spend my times hanging around with you and Skylo. I want that feeling to last forever. <laughs> Why it's true that I'm here as reborn, I'm still my father's, my father's daughter and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. When demise is fully gone, finally gone, there will be no need for the seal that binds him, and I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids. I always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when all of this is over, you come to wake me up? Holy crap! <sighs> that was the longest explanation ever. <sighs> Helia and Demise. Zelda is reborn of Helia. At the very end of that kissing, I tried so hard to hold back my tears. That was just touching. But we finally got what we needed. The true Master Sword. The sword blessed by the goddess herself can only be wielded by the hero of legend. I am just breathless. <sighs> Let's see what Impa has to say. Mm. I see you said goodbye. Now you must keep the promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There's work to be done there. <laughs> Do not fear for Zelda. I will watch over her here. Go now and fulfill your destiny. <sighs> Before we go there, that cutscene took almost the entire episode. So I'm going to end today's episode. Also, I deeply apologize. For all the words I mispronounce, deeply sorry. <sighs> I try my best. I try my best. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time when we go back into this, back into sky, and before we try find the um the Triforce. We got uh, some. We got some side quests we want to do. So, anyways, 
see you guys next time.